The chat tab is where you'll find all your one-on-one -on -one and group chats within Teams. Let's start at the top left. You have the option to mark all your chats as red, filter them, or start a new chat. Below this, you'll see a list of your chats, and you may notice a chat with yourself. This is just a handy way to send yourself reminders or other notes. You can pin chats that you access regularly at the top of your chat list. To do this, hover over a chat, click more options and click pin. You also have some other options here, such as muting chats, hiding them and deleting them. There is also the option to open the chat in a new window, which is useful if you want to keep a chat open and continue doing something else within Teams. However, this can also easily be done by hovering over the chat in the chat list and clicking this icon. When you're in a chat, there are options along the top. Chat is your main chat window. You then have files, which is a collection of all the files you've shared within the chat. This could be PDFs, Word documents, images, and more. You then have this plus button, which allows you to add extra tabs. This includes a range of options such as apps, documents, and more, all of which can be collaborated on in your chat. Moving over to the right, there is this telephone icon. This allows you to start an instant audio call, whilst the arrow next to it allows you to select an audio or video call. This button here lets you add people to a chat to make a group chat, and when you do so, you can select how much chat history they see. You then have more options, so you can search within the chat, schedule meetings, share your screen, and more. If we go down to the bottom of the chat window, this is where you will type your messages. You have some options here. And the first up is text formatting, which includes your usual options such as bold, underline, bullet points, colours and more. The smiley face will bring up what is called the fun picker and this gives you access to emojis, gifs and stickers. And then the plus button gives you more options so you can attach files, which you can also drag and drop in the message bar. You can add loop components, which I do have a separate video on and I'll put the link in the description. You can also record a clip, schedule meetings, and you can also add various apps to the chat in this single message. When you have chat messages, you can hover over messages to perform different actions. You can react to them with an emoji and you can press the plus button to access all of your emojis. This arrow allows you to directly reply to one message. Say someone has sent you three messages asking different questions. This helps make it clear which message you are responding to. And then more options allows you to forward a message to another chat. You can also do things like pin a message. If you do this, both participants will see the pinned message. You can create tasks from chat messages and more. You can also do the same actions with your own messages. That's an overview of chat. This video is part of an introductory series to the Teams desktop application. In the next video, we look at Teams and channels.